Uh, hello once again, fifth grade kids and families. I hope everybody's had a nice weekend here as we get ready for a nice relaxing Sunday and a week ahead of us here. Uh, just going to give you a quick update, hopefully try to keep it brief here uh, for the week coming up. So we got October 5th through 9th ahead of us coming up tomorrow. Uh, just a quick look at things going on around. We did get map testing done and accomplished. There's a couple left for makeups and things, uh, but I think we, we're ready to sort of be done with that for now until we get to the spring. So uh, the kids did a great job. It does throw off our schedule a bit, but we've adjusted pretty well. And now we're ready for a semi-normal week. Uh, one big thing going on this week is our li living rosary. So the kids have practiced. We got a chance to practice a little bit last week. We'll have two practices uh, Monday and Tuesday, which will take us a little about maybe a little less than an hour each. So a little bit of our afternoon time. Uh, and then the uh, big performance of the Living Rosary uh, on Wednesday at 9 a.m. So looking forward to that. Uh, I'm sure the kids are going to do great. And um, obviously with things being different this year, with not being able to pack into the church as much as we would normally hope to and get to enjoy that in person, I uh, hope you'll get to watch on the YouTube live stream. We had an all-school mass on for the Feast of the Guardian Angels on Friday on the live stream. It worked out pretty well. Um, so unfortunately, we can't have parents in the sanctuary, but uh, looking forward to having you tune in so you can see the kids uh, do that nice performance on uh, on Wednesday morning. So looking forward to that. Um, as far as classes this week and last week, last week in science, we got through an experiment where we just used a very simple procedure of uh, dropping a ball and seeing how far it bounces up off the ground on different floor surfaces. Kids did a great job, seemed to enjoy it, got us out, out of the classroom a little bit, testing out different areas of the school that have different floors. Um, it was just, again, a very basic procedure, very simple thing to do, and but good practice on performing a controlled experiment. So hopefully that'll pay off, uh, especially as we get into science fair later this year. But kids did a nice job collecting the data, examining the data, coming up with reasons why uh, there were differences in some of the results and things like that. So that was all good, all good science we were doing. Uh, this week, what we'll get into is some work with science tools and um, just learn about tools that we use for measuring, observing, and doing all kinds of different things, whether we're in a lab, out in the field, out in nature, uh, things that help us see better, things that are far away, things that are small, whatever it might be. Uh, and again, some of the tools we use for safety equipment and things like that. So it's a fun, it's a fun, uh, fun lesson, pretty easy one to go through and fun to kind of learn and how to, how to use those things. And hopefully uh, we'll get an opportunity to get some of those things some of those tools around us to uh to be to be using and getting some practice with so that's that's always a fun one too uh going on to math uh, last week we did a great job working through the order of operations evaluating expressions uh a few kinks to still work out but we're going to move forward with it too and make sure we're ready uh for the next kind of step so we're going to be getting into using grouping symbols so we've gotten used to seeing parentheses uh but there's other grouping symbols like parentheses within parentheses like brackets and braces are kind of the names but basically it's all about starting from the inside and seeing what does that tell us about uh, where do we begin to evaluate these expressions. So I'm looking forward to that. I think the kids will be fine with it. Just a little, little bit of a new wrinkle in the whole process, but um, something that they should be able to handle. Again, just paying attention to the step-by-step -step procedures of solving those expressions. So we'll get into that early in the week. Uh, then I'm planning to have a Thursday quiz over expressions, just kind of review all the big processes with that, how to write expressions and evaluate expressions. And then a couple uh, sort of challenge examples of using these grouping symbols to help us work through them as well. Uh, hopefully I'll free us up for a nice Friday to just do a little review and extra practice before we get into the long weekend uh, coming up ahead. So hopefully we'll get that taken care of on Thursday and that'll free us up for a nice, nice, enjoyable Friday into the week. Um, with English, um, last week we did a little progress check on our nouns work and also got into singular and possessive singular and plural possessive nouns uh, where we have to have apostrophes and s's and the, what's the appropriate way to do that so uh, kids did again pretty well with that it's more just kind of reigniting those those thinking pieces of appropriate grammar and structure with our words and our nouns uh, and we'll, we're looking forward to kind of getting into deeper and deeper with that so we'll st start off the week uh, maybe with a little bit more practice and review of those singular and plural possessives and then I uh, plan to kind of wrap up uh, nouns with a couple of writing activities, maybe just some quick writing activities focused on using nouns. Uh, just hopefully a couple of fun activities where we'll maybe write a paragraph or two and then share with each other, maybe even get into some small groups and imagine how to use our nouns in writing uh, to, to, to practice using those again. Uh, and then we'll just do, again, hopefully looking forward to some review activities to finish up nouns, maybe some crossword puzzles and things like that to 
to work into some engaging activities to help us kind of put a bow on those pieces before we start moving on with our grammar. Um, and that's really it. So I know uh, coming up after this weekend or after this coming week, we have the fall break. So we'll have the, the next Monday and Tuesday off, which I think is October 11, no, October 12th and 13th. So we've got a long weekend coming up next weekend. Uh, so I know we're looking forward to that. We've got a full week here. So let's make it a great week. And then we'll uh, wrap up this week and Put, put a close to a couple of uh, different topics in math and English especially, and then uh, be ready for a few extra days off. So guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Uh, thanks for your hard work there in school, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.